Hello, this is Andrew Lamb. I'm going to show you how I use a tool called Instruments to do profiling when I'm working to optimize data fusion performance. What I'm going to show you now is how, um, you know, you, if you want to know where data fusion is spending its time. So the first thing you need is a command line to actually run to uh, measure. Uh, in this case, we have a cargo benchmark run. You run cargo bench SQL planner in this particular name of the test, and you'll actually see it uses the standard cargo benchmarking framework to, to run a uh, five or six seconds or whatever. Now the important thing to do benchmarking uh, in this case is you need to find the exact binary. So this command runs through cargo, but it actually made a binary called this. And so in particular, you can see in this case, the, this is the actual command. So like if I actually run that command um, with these arguments, oops, uh, we should be able to see, see it actually doing the same thing. Um, I'm sorry. You don't need the bench. There you go. You just need that part. Now in here, you actually see it, it errors out. Now why isn't it erroring? It actually turns out in this case, Cargo is running it from within another directory. So I need to go in here and then run the same command here. All right, so this basically shows I can run this command by itself. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run under profiling. So to do so, I'm going to start up a profile called Instruments, which in this case comes with Mac OS X. There's another program called, uh, I think it's called Hotspot, that, does, that has a very similar UI in, uh, for Linux. But it's basically the same thing. They're both, they both do the same thing. So in this case, I choose the CPU profiler, and, and I, what I would do is I'd pick the target. So what that means is which binary do I want to run. Since I already have the binary here, I can copy this this binary command right in here. So I'll type slash and just type in the entire path. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to run that command in here. And in this case, you know, I need to run it from within this directory. You can already see I've actually already copied that in here, this working directory. And then I pass it this command. So if I choose all that and I say now go, what this command does is actually run the the benchmark under the profiler and the profiler sits there and samples the what the stack trace looks like uh, frequently and then it takes all the same all the sample stack traces and it uh, combines them together into into a visualization so in this case it, uh, instruments does whole system profiling so you actually see the entire thing um, in this case I just care about this particular binary so uh, I will zoom in here I think and I'll basically just pick that one now, but uh, profiling is sort of a sort of a art rather than a science, but I just want to show you what these pieces do. So this shows you the heaviest stack trace, but the way to read this is this means 100% of the time that I'm looking at was spent, you know, in this stack trace, and then you can actually start going down. And um, if I just click over here somewhere, it'll it'll show. So this sort of shows the cumulative stack traces, and so the way to read this is like, in this case, 80% uh, of the time was going to this function, 51% of the time was, was building the physical plan. So um, let's just zoom in here. So if you click here, it'll recenter everything. So now I'm just looking at 100% of the time from there. And we'll use this to figure out where Data Fusion was spending the time. So in this case, you can see 95% of the time was spending creating this, this physical plan. 95% was here, right? I'm still looking for the hot spots. So you can already see here's. Um, Here's another, there's 8% there. These symbols are the actual Rust symbols that get created, so they're, they're kind of mangled, but you can kind of read what they are, right? Like data fusion context, query planner, create physical plan. And if we zoom in here a little bit now, we start getting something interesting. So you can see if I um, how to read this, is it means 86% of the time was spent calling optimize, so in the optimizer probably. Of that, 33% of the time was in this recursive optimize, and actually 25% 20, was in express and simplification. 9% of the total time was in this common sub-expression eliminate, um, and, and so forth. So if we go, you know, we can zoom in, like let's see what uh, Simplify Expressions was doing. So 25% of the time was in this function, and then zoom in, you could see 25% of the time was, was whatever that is. Um, 
So anyway, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but you can get you can start seeing this and you get a sense for where where all the CPU time was spent, and then you would you would go look in detail of what this code is doing and try to figure out how to make it spend less time doing it. So hopefully that's helpful and useful, and you can see what I do. I do this for both benchmarks uh, using cry using the cargo bench command, but also you can use the same thing for data fusion CLI. I've done that frequently when I'm trying to optimize ClickBench performance. So anyway, this gives you a sense of what's going on. Hopefully that was interesting. Thank you very much.